The Last of Us on HBO just finished and it was amazing. I told y'all, I predicted it was going to be amazing, unlike any of the other two live action monstrosities from before. <laughs> I had a few issues with the series, and that is that, well, the infected are just kind of like in the background back burner, sort of. Like, I know we all have human elements here, the drama, the characters, the story, but man, the infected are such a huge part of the game. And for the most part, in the show, they're kind of just there, but not really a threat. And the whole show is designed on the apocalypse and the infected threat, right? That's the whole thing. Like, the infected are so well thought out with different stages and names, and it's super cool, and it was very underutilized. Like, the last huge scene we had, the best one, I think, with the infected, and one of the best ones in the whole show, was when that bloater was attacking and all the infected were coming out like a giant ant from an anthill, it was insane. And that was amazing. I just thought that it was truly a travesty that that was the last time we really saw the infected play a big role. <laughs> The final episode felt rushed because it had no moments to breathe and, of course, the lack of infected. Near the end of the game, you go through a subway and it has the most infected in the entire game. And you mean to tell me that HBO just spent half a million, they really did, spent half a million on a blood suit they only used once? It's not that hard to write a siege story, guys, where after Joel gets captured, he has to help the Fireflies defend the hospital against a horde of infected that got attracted to the hospital after Joel accidentally stepped on a mushroom tentacle and that was set up in episode 2. Remember that if you step on one, all the other ones come running, like in packs. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected. And again, in the Riley flashback, there should have been a chase scene with Infected instead of just one. I mean, the scene was still great. Great episode, but man, in the game, they chase you. And how cool would it have been to show a bunch of them chase the girls? That would have been amazing. How all the fungi are connected, right? That all the cordyceps are connected through networks. And they only used that once in episode two, never again. Infected! Oh, they're behind us too! This way! The episode that had David. David and Ellie literally work together to fight against the infected. No matter being strangers and enemies, they have to rely on each other to survive. And that makes it more tragic that David decides to backstab her. I mean, I could nitpick all day, but apparently the writers have heard the feedback and promised way more infected for season two. We're probably gonna have that one infected, the Rat King. And of course, tons of Abby punching infected, probably. Now, the other issue besides the infected was the length. It definitely felt rushed. I mean, the main reason has to be that HBO did not know how huge the series is gonna be. And that's understandable. We rushed through through entire scenes, especially the ending and other key moments like through the infected high school, for example. The human on human action felt lacking at times too, especially the first time Joel just encountered other angry humans. Some of the dialogue just felt weak and some of the tactics were just stupid. Let's see you motherfucker! You motherfucker! Oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's over, we're not fighting anymore. I'm gonna go home, I'll tell everyone you're good. I don't know what to do! And again, in the moment where Joel gets lethally injured in the game, before that happens, you clear an entire building full of raiders. And in the show, you really only deal with like three. I don't expect Joel to kill an army, but could have been a few more, you know? The pacing could have been a little bit slower for certain moments. But overall, I am extremely impressed with what they did. They really did their best. This is what happens when you follow the story and don't have idiots who don't care about the source material or are proud to not have read the source material. Halo. <laughs> Resident Evil, The Witcher. And this is how you do it. You hire the man who literally created the video game story and the video game, Neil Druckmann, to write the show. This kind of treatment would have saved Resident Evil Netflix. How many movies? How many failed series? Let's just hope they try again. They do it right with these video game series. Besides The Last of Us, because it's already perfect. So, what did you think of the series? Do you agree or disagree with me? What would you think would make it better? Comment below and let me know, and uh, let's discuss down below. This is Random Junk, signing off.